Hey guys, welcome to Offshoot Comics Off Topic. We're your host Kirby Kidd. And Black Superman. Also known as David Clark. And Walter Bryant. And today we're talking about The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smaug. Yeah, we went and saw this movie at midnight. It was a good movie, but... Except for the people in the theater. I sat next to one girl who kept going, Dang! Dang! And her freaking boyfriend, just he just kept spouting lines from songs. Randomly. <laughs> I didn't hear any of I that. I wanted to really. shove Sting in their face. I was, oh my god. Oh, by the way, Sting got its name in this movie. Yeah. Which pretty much happens the way it happens in the book. Yeah. But. It stings. Okay. Um, uh, spiders. spiders. Yeah, the spiders. Spiders. It was the spiders. I'm arachnophobic. So, I, 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 I had the willies when I went to bed last night. <laughs> because, okay, in the book, it's just like one spider. Or a couple of spiders. In, in, in like the old cartoon from like the 70s, it's like one giant spider. This one's this a like, horde of spiders. This, oh, God. Like, this was way worse Could than Could you Harry imagine Potter. the giant spider wrapping you up like, oh, is it? <laughs> this is it? This was way worse than the Harry Potter thing. <laughs> you know, with, with like, because the spiders in Harry Potter, there was like one giant one, and then there was a couple of, there was a couple of medium-sized ones, and then a bunch of t- tinies. These were all humongous. They're, they're on their journey still. They get kidnapped by the spiders. Uh, on that road where Gandalf's like, all right, look, do not lose the road. If you lose the road, you're screwed. And then they lose they the road. immediately lose the road. <laughs> Gandalf, he shouldn't have left. <laughs> yeah, Gandalf had his own problems. Right? Yeah, but, he was. Yeah, Bilbo breaks out. He actually was pretty good in this scene. He was just killing spiders. He was actually pretty good in this whole movie. Actually, yeah. he was actually better than the, than the dwarves. The, yeah, which is embarrassing for the dwarves because he wasn't. He's not. He's, he's not, not a warrior, warrior at all. This this is his first day outside of the shire, <laughs> um, but yeah. So he, he fights the spiders, and uh, that was freaking scary as all get out. And then all uh, what's his name? He's all the that? only one who got free by himself. He didn't use ever, the ring ever. He, yeah, they like the, the spider had like, wrapped up, and he's like, Ugh, kill the spider. <laughs> the spider's like, oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> and then um, Legolas comes and uh, and saves them with a bunch of other elves, and they're still arrogant as crap. Yeah, this is this is before Legolas was cool. Yeah, he's incredible. He's incredibly arrogant. In this yeah, he's thing. a jerk now, dude. Uh, and it's really funny though when they're uh, taking the belongings from the the dwarves. He talks to that one dwarf. He's like, "And what's this ugly creature? Like, that's my son, Gimli. Yeah, he's yeah. gonna be his best uh, friend. Yeah, yeah, it's your friend. But right now you're a jerk, so you don't deserve him. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so yeah, that happens. And then the uh, of course, like, is in love with the red elf, red haired elf chick. Which apparently mm, she's a lower. Dwarf, yeah. She's a low. Well, she's love with the dwarf, but she's also a lower cl- class of elf. So his father, the king, is like that ain't gonna happen. It's not really that she's a lower class of elf. He's a royal elf, and she's just yeah, elf. lower class. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're not royal. Uh, it dragged on a lot for a bit. Uh, no, there's there there are points there are points in this movie where you could totally kill twenty minutes of footage, right? And you wouldn't lose anything. Like when they first get into the 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 um the dwarf the dwarf kingdom, mm-hmm. and they're just kind of walking around talking about nothing. Yeah. And then like they they spend like fifteen minutes talking about absolutely nothing, and then they say, "Okay, Bilbo, go downstairs and get my and get my stone." Which is really cowardly. Like you all have the one dude who has no fighting experience and he's lived his whole life in a shire, fight Smog. Yeah. Really? By the way, Smog is as big as Godzilla. Yeah. He. With wings. And, and, oh, and he, the scary part is, even with the ring, he's like, I know you're there. Like, I know the general area where you're at. And I think he knew where, where he was exactly the whole time. Yeah, he, I mean, he, he, he was screwing yeah, with him. He was screwing with him that entire interchange between them, which was really frightening. Yeah, to I the mean, point where Bilbo got so scared, he just took the ring off. He's like, this is ain't helping. <laughs> this is, I'll just be out. Of course, he, he didn't get the Arkenstone uh, because, well, Smog was there. Uh, they run around for a while and a bunch of, you know, funny little hijinks, you know, and they're like, oh, let's try not to die. And they are l- the luckiest people on Middle-Earth. Pretty much, yeah. Because they're... Small should have killed all of them. Because at, at, towards the end, he started trying to kill him for real. And almost got him. Yeah, but never did. It's like, how are y'all just doing <laughs> random crap and living? Like, <laughs> but, um... But, oh, yeah, they, they tried to stop him with gold. They tried to burn a dragon. Yeah, okay, dragon scales are, well... Fireproof, except for and, that one hole. Yeah, but that one hole wasn't wasn't caused by a fire. It was caused by a black arrow. You're right, but now there's a hole where he just kind of that he can get in. I guess it hurt him somehow. Well, I kind I'm of grasping for straws right I, now. Yeah, I'm just I've kind of spent all my time wondering why 
Bilbo didn't just try to stick a sword in there. Oh, you mean him stick a sword in the guy who knows he's there? Yeah, I mean, you know, he knows you're there. He may as well go and try. He can just blow fire on <laughs> himself and kill you. <laughs> <laughs> so then they cap the elves capture all the uh, after they find them and sort of save them. They capture them, put them in the little holding cell, which is where the tallest dwarf and the elf chick fall in love. I guess, even sort though of. they've only met each other for like three seconds. And Bilbo breaks him out because that's what he does. Because he's the boss. Yeah, because he's the only one who's there actually trying to do something. <laughs> and then, okay, this is the Elf Kingdom, right? Right. Why, oh, actually, you know what, I already, I, was, I was about to ask a question I only answered to. The orcs um, find a way in that, like, nobody else knows is there. All right. And they manage to surprise a whole bunch of elves and kill a bunch of sentries. Now... The, the prince and like his favorite elf can kill all the orcs by themselves but their sentries who are walking around on the on the walls are all getting wiped out yeah I thought all elves were epic no it was just apparently just, just Legolas and, 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 and anybody he happens to hang out with <laughs> right <laughs> like if he hangs with you you are now amazing <laughs> but uh yeah it's like um orcs are are like a what are they dead elves I think or the, dead elves? Yeah, they're dead elves. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, wait, they're, I thought, they're dead I thought, elves I that orcs, have been reanimated. I thought orcs were like spawned in those little circle things, and they just kept coming out. That may be true, also, but they're but they're dead elves. All right, if you guys know who what orcs are in the movie, let us know in the comments. Which like, is which is why I think they knew how to get into that that area. Because they've been there because before? They, they're they're from there. That's sad. Wait, elves die? They get killed. So really, every orc problem is their fault. Pretty much, yeah. Wait, can they reanimate dead orcs? Uh, they can reanimate dead elves. I don't see why they couldn't reanimate dead orcs. Cause so basically, every time they've ever killed orcs, like in in droves, it doesn't really do anything. Well, they're they're dead until they come back. Which is like what the next day, possibly. Well, I don't know. Sauron it doesn't seem to be just coming out of his castle for no reason at all. Also, Sauron. But Sauron, yeah. Sauron, uh. They had the the, the the eye came back. Uh, Gandalf lost the battle. He lost the. Uh, he got he got beat down. Actually. He did pretty good for being the gray. I mean, the white probably wouldn't have done much better, but he's fighting Satan. <laughs> <laughs> but it was kind of creepy. They had the, the the middle of the eye that like the that's the iris, mm -hmm. like, like the middle of the the Mordor eye, and, and then all of a sudden it started walking. And he's I thought he was gonna walk out and just like pimp slap Gandalf, but uh, he, he pretty much did actually. Well, he did. Yeah, but he, he didn't like come out physically and do it. He went back in the eye. He attacked him with darkness and won. And is Sauron a human? I don't remember. I'm, I, I, I thought I he was a remember. human. We're gonna, we're, gonna have to, we're gonna have to read up on this. If anyone else also knows about what Sauron is, just feel free to just just school us in detail in the comments. Yeah, because like as far as I can remember, he was like a he was like a sorcerer, which still makes him human. But right. um, real quick though, just to reiterate, if you see that we're not responding on the comments under offshoot comics, it's because of the Google Plus thing. So like we can't see inbox messages or respond, but we refuse to use Google Plus. <laughs> so. Actually, I, I, I turned my personal um, account into a yeah, Google so Plus account. Yeah, you should account. hear from so either him. I, I I write you back. Right, you um, from Walter Bryant or or David Clark, but not Offshoot Comics. Just, yeah. just so you know. Uh, but anyways, oh. so yeah, if you know what Sauron is, because I read the Cimmerillion, but it was a long, long time ago. And I didn't read the Cimmerillion because it was like reading chapter one of uh, Matthew, where, you know, <laughs> they, they give Jesus the, the, a genealogy. The, the, the lineages and... Yeah, you know, like, as far as I'm concerned, Matthew starts with chapter two. Now, when Jesus was born in Nazareth... Right, right. <laughs> but there we go. It's just, it's like, it's like, it's like playing a video game. Skip the intro. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so, I mean, Swan was pretty good, and then at the end, they, 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 they let him out, you know, because they mm. just... They let him out, kind of. Well, not let him. He he leaves. Yeah. Okay. They try to they try to smelt him. Basically, they which pour, we, we already told you doesn't yeah, make molten work. gold over him. And he goes, "Okay, you thought this was revenge? I'll show you revenge. I'm gonna go wipe out everybody." And that's pretty much what he says. Then, right. Then he flies through the ceiling. Well, uh, the top of a cave. Right. And then Bill was like, "What have we done? Black screen. Why, Peter Jackson? Yeah. Because okay, let, let, let's be real." Mm. If you take the two movies that we've seen so far, um, you could have wiped out Cut two hours of stuff and then put and them put together all in there and, and just had Hobbit Part One and Two, or you could have probably just had uh, the Hobbit and just like, you could have just did it in a four-hour movie. Yeah, because I, I guarantee you that would not hurt sales at all. No, not at all. 
People know when you're going to see a Lord of the Rings or Hobbit movie, you're going to be there for a while. Yeah, and realistically, The Hobbit's only one book. I mean, you did right. you did the Lord of the Rings three in books. all three chapters, and it's he's three just books. trying to stretch it out, trying to make more money. He wants that. He wants that Lord of the Rings money. I mean, congratulations, you got my money. Yeah, I'm just saying. You I mean, I'm gonna I'm I'm come back next year and watch the third part too. But it was definitely a good movie. the The CGI was great. The effects were great. The acting the was good. Me out. The, the, the acting is really good. Like, I, I I'm really like happy that they they all take it seriously. Mm-hmm. Legolas is back. Who looks something like even younger? Mm, yeah, via yeah. makeup and CGI. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I I did have one issue with this movie, and uh-huh. it's only one, and, and it's it's a me thing. Okay. Um, I got tired of hearing these three kids going da every five seconds. Oh, the, they're, they're, they're like the kids of the guy like who reminded yeah. me of Aragorn. Yeah, they're like Dutch, and you know they're they're, they're like is that guy really the Aragorn? No, I don't think so. He, he reminds me of him because well he has black hair, black uh, hair and yeah. facial hair. But Aragorn's eighty though, so. So is he alive now? Yeah, Aragorn's alive there. He's like thirty five right there. He really was eighty. He was really eighty. In Lord of the Rings. Yes, he was eighty. He was really eighty. Okay, okay. Anyone watch? Anyone watching? Please just confirm for this man that in Lord of the Rings, as you're watching the Lord of the Rings, the Aragorn the, is Aragorn 80? is eighty years old. He don't look or act or sound eighty. He is one of the long lived kings. They they point all of that out. Hey, what? We're what gonna have that? to reread these books, man. I, I got time for that. Okay, fine. We'll watch the movies. Or they'll they'll just you'll tell me. I'm he sure. I'm sure there's a Tolkienite right now who's like <laughs> who's actually 82. Right. <laughs> I mean, uh, so you okay? So he's 80. All right. Yeah, and Bilbo was 111 at that point. At this point? No, not at this point. At this point, he looks like he's about 40 ish. Okay, so then, all right. How how old is Frodo? I don't know. Like twelve? You mean like right now when when this movie's happening? No, when Lord of the Rings. Oh, he's like thirty, I think. I don't know. He looks like he's a child. He does, uh, well, that's because the guy who played him looks like a child. Mister Bilbo, can I go on an adventure? <laughs> I have a, a si- I have a sign for him <laughs> for, for my parents. Dude, he looked jacked up by the end of the Lord of the Rings, though. He, he lost a, a, a finger. He's all jacked up and... Yeah, he, he'd, been, he'd, been, he'd been starved to death. Okay. If they had destroyed the ring when Bilbo first found it, would that have, like, negated everything else? Pretty much. If they had just flown the eagles, like, how it should have ended, all the way to the... Island. Yeah, <laughs> just fly it over, drop, keep going. Like, what was the point in actually getting off the eagles and walking? Because it's not the destination. It's the journey. It's Which the destination. caused a lot of people to die. It's the destination. <laughs> it's the destination. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that, that was that's that's uh, the Hobbit, the desolation of Smaug. Smaug was pretty scary as crap, though. Yeah, it was. He was scary as crap. You know what? The, the, um, there's nothing more scary than someone who you know absolutely can kick your tail at any point in time, and it just who just you. isn't doing it. I mean, he just he like keeps letting you know over and over again, yeah. it's gonna happen. He just isn't doing. And it. I, I I did I did. Find it kind of creepy when he was all, or you know, it, I mean, one whenever a dragon talks, it's creepy to me. But you know, he when he was like, uh, I should just let uh, Thrain have it. It's Thrain, it's Thrain right? Oak and Shield. Um, I know it's Oak and Shield something. Thorin, I think. Thorn? No. Or the Thrain. Thorn, son of Thrain. Thrain, son of Thorn. What the dude? Uh, what you, Oak yeah. and Shield. He's like, I should let him have it. Uh, the have the the the, the Arkenstone, just to watch it corrupt him, and it it was. Already corrupting him. Yeah, dude, he was he was about to throw Bilbo under the bus. I mean, there's no buses there, but he was. About he would have built a bus and then thrown him <laughs> under it. And but, okay, who was that dude that helped him in the in the village? He was like the grandson of the dude who missed or whatever. Uh huh. First of all, why is that his problem? My granddaddy missed. I didn't miss because you know the son must pay for the sins of the father or some crap like that. Yeah, and he didn't. Well, I guess I guess no one could. Walk up and check to make sure he really missed because it's smog. He didn't miss. I mean, he got him twice, and if he had gotten him one more time, he'd have been dead. Right. But okay, the hole that smog has in his chest looks like it's about like that. Okay, so dude is supposed to put an arrow this big <laughs> from two miles off the ground while being shot at with fire in that little hole into that hole. And it's like so here is the problem. So okay, so, okay, so let's say him missing brings shame upon his family, right? Okay, I'll accept that. 
Um, where were all the other families though? Were they uh, were they hiding, hiding? somewhere? Yeah, yeah. Oh, when that one guy was out there by himself. Oh, okay. Getting shot at. Yeah, I'm just I'm just checking. Yeah. It's like, who are you the son of? Oh, no one knows or cares who you're the son of. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sorry that you're not a legend. So yeah, the third part is coming out next year because they've already mm-hmm. shot all three. Um, looking forward to it, and hopefully it just doesn't drag on forever. Like, cause I don't want to see you know part three be put into part two like in two parts because they've been doing that a lot lately. Yeah, they have to take the last part of a trilogy and make it into two parts just to get more money out. Don't do that. If you do that, I mean, I'll probably still watch it, but I will. I, I will be. I will be upset. You don't want to see two big black dudes upset. Mm-hmm. I mean, we just we give still, us the third movie. We will still see the movie though. Yeah, because it's probably be some really awesome CGI and fighting. <laughs> and maybe the Flash will run across. <laughs> They're owned by the same guys. <laughs> <laughs> it, it could happen. Or, or we, we, we're joking. Like Swag's so like, oh, I am king of the mountain. Superman's like. Zzz. Problems. <laughs> Toss him into space. Cause into the sun. Because that's, 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 that's how you deal with everything now. Throw in the sun. All right. But anyways, to get a little off topic, but that's what we do here. Um, don't forget to check out our app on Android and iOS and subscribe and all that madness. And until next time, we bring host Kirby Kid. And Black Superman. See you later, guys. Hey, guys. Don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, and share our videos like crazy. That's right. Because we love you. We want you to love us. And we want to keep making videos for you. And keep leaving us comments. We love comments. Yes, and we answer comments. Unlike some of the other guys, we'll get out there, we'll answer, and if you uh, have a great comment, we'll make a video about it. And if you have a not so great comment, we will try to address that issue. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, thanks. Till next time, we'll be your host, Kirby Kid. And Black Superman. See you later, guys.